Welcome back to The Sims 4. Today we're going to be earning a million simoleons by using archaeology and finding rare items and collectibles. As usual, we got Samaj, he's got all this stuff. I'm not going to bother changing anything. Let's go! All right, so we're going to live controversially in Forgotten Hollow. I say controversially because... I mean, I don't like this neighborhood just because it's so dark, but I have a plan because we're going to be going to Selva Dorada and going to the temples to find rare items. Also all the archeology span piles to actually do the skill. Being able to teleport around is super important. Now we could become a spellcaster again, but we've done that so much. We could also do the wellness skill. If you get to the top of that, I believe you can teleport or we can become a vampire and fly as a bat. Those are all effectively teleporting. And same with being a spellcaster, like getting the broom and flying around, that's teleporting as well. But we've done that recently, so let's mix it up. Let's go visit good old Vladdy Daddy. Wait, moving house off from the gallery? No, I want to visit Vlad. <laughs> oh, hey man. Now, seeing as this is a one million challenge, no other rules apply except for just getting the money as quick as possible in, you know, the way we've chosen to. So, oh wait, I just clicked take a photo. No, 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 I need to take a photo of Vlad. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> he already hates me. It's okay. It's okay. You'll like me. You'll like me, buddy. So in case you don't know, the little trick is if you just take photos of Sims, assuming you've got no mods on, once you've done that, they become, look at that. Look at that friendship bar. We just do it a couple times and he, we're best friends. All we got to do is make him like me enough that he can make me a vampire. Ask to turn. There we go. Please, Vlad. All I've ever wanted to be is a vampire. Now I could have just done this from create a Sim, but I don't know. I, it's kind of fun to do it this way. <laughs> Damn, Vladdy. Get in there. All right, now it does take a few days if I'm not mistaken. So in the meantime, we do need a bit of money. <laughs> so I guess we'll just get started because we need to go on vacation to Selva Dorado. We can't even get there yet. So let's get some collectibles. Oh, actually got all these photos. Heck yeah, I'm selling those. 65 bucks. Ain't no rules in this challenge. Well, there is, but most of them are self-imposed rules, which I'm willing to break. <laughs> All right, 173. Well, ha question. We got, well, a couple questions. Well, first, actually, let's go home as well. Let's go home. We need the archaeology skill eventually, but I don't think there's much point leveling up in that yet. 390. That's actually not as bad as I thought. Let's also make our place a tiny home because that makes our skills go up really fast. And to be valid, let's just add a tile. There you go. All right, so we're a tiny home tier one, which means we get all the best benefits. Plants grow fast. We build skills super fast, amongst other things. Not actually sure if there's any lot traits that help archaeology, but I'll just leave it. That'll do. Oh, actually, let me just check. Dust, I think is enabled, which is good because if we get dust money, so we're going to get rich from that too. Although I feel like we need a roof for that and walls. <laughs> All right, let me collect a few more things. I'm going to be honest, there's literally nothing else to collect here. So let's go somewhere else. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm a vampire. No, actually, I'm not a vampire yet. It's OK. I was going to say I'm a vampire, so I will burn the sun. So <laughs> but I'm not yet full vampire. So we don't need to worry about that just yet. All right, let me sell this junk. 105, pretty good. Come on, let's catch something good. We always come back here. This is the lucky pond. Oh. Okay. Becoming a vampire takes a few days. Thanks, man. Actually, I should probably look up how much it costs to go to Selva Dorada. That's the other thing. We, we do need to afford that. All right. Literally got nothing from fishing. That was a waste of time. All right. Going to Selva Dorada into what's the cheapest place? This one's 216. We, we can actually afford. So can I just blow it out and just... No, okay. I have to go for one day. All right. Let's go one day right now. Why, why waste time? This is a speed challenge. All right. So we're here. And I don't want to be here. So let's go to the other neighborhood. <laughs> we want to be over here because this is where all the temples are. And also where all the archaeology piles and stuff are too. So we're not really here for the temples, though going in them, we can get a lot of uh, stuff to dig and excavate. But I believe usually on this pathway, there's some, but we might need to wait for it to sort of spawn in. Oh, I got a machete. Sweet. Oh, there's a regular one. Let's get that. But I'm pretty sure there were some spots around here. Though we might need to venture further into the jungle for that. Or maybe that's just when you get higher in the skill and you can sort of just like look around. I don't know. No, we got it. I knew there was some around here. Yeah. This is the pile we're after. This is where all the good stuff is. All right. So we gained the skill. Okay. I really got to go to the bathroom as well. It's just fantastic. <laughs> found a, I found a fossil rock. I found a, a regular rock. Awesome. We're definitely going to need a skill up in this. All right. Let's um, clear path of machete. Ugh, no, now I'm hungry. Okay. <laughs> All right, I would like to let nature be. That's good. There we go. We've appeared over here. I believe that, see, we don't need to worry about this later on when we can teleport, which is a cool thing. <gasps> Snake, don't. Oh yeah, there is, there's one here. Oh, look at this. 
excavating by the beautiful waterfalls. Yeah, and this is what we're focusing on. Oh yes, we found a thing, that's good. All right, well, let me, I'm gonna sell those fossils for 10 bucks. I think I could actually send them off, but I didn't do that, obviously. All right, well, I think my needs are pretty poor, but let's try and push for forward a little bit more to the next zone. Quietly look around, there we go, we've made it through. Let's harvest these, because I think some of these berries may potentially be good for us. Whoa, we got a lot. Okay, hang on. We got like a flirty one maybe? Which is the, the happy one, the vimberry? I don't know, let's eat it. Oh, maybe energized, sweet. Let's eat another one of those. All right, that's pretty good. That got my, uh oh. I attacked my plasma bats, but I am, I'm like half vampire at this point. Don't attack your fellow brethren. Oh, am I gonna get, did I get poison or am I good? I think we're good. <laughs> maybe. All right, let's get this show on the road. Excavate. Hey, got another little thing. Level two. I don't know why I clicked clear path with hands, but it's taking forever. So let me use a machete. And also he like pricked his finger. <laughs> Travel to the temple. Now, I don't think we're gonna get that far into it because I'm not really prepared and his needs aren't very good, but I think there's some more excavation piles around, hopefully. Oh yeah, here we go. I'm just trying to get as many as I can, then we'll head back to the house. Cool, found a knife. Uh, I might need to go in, to be honest. Oh, there's one up top. See, this is the thing, like all this stuff we'll be able to teleport to, and he eventually becomes a vampire. <laughs> At the moment it just takes ages. All right, we've got a potato. There's another one down here. I'm gonna excavate that as well. Ooh, there's another one down here too, look at this. Oh, sweet, there's stereos in this temple. Heck yeah. Is this like the nightclub temple? It's sweet. Oh, there's a bar here and stuff as well. That's pretty funny. <laughs> All right, well, whilst we're still needing money, I'm also, oh, I'm too uncomfortable. Dang it. All right, never mind. We're gonna have to leave. All right, let's go back to my little house. With a bit of luck, there's an archeology span table here. Okay, we don't have any luck. It's not here. That's all right. Let's, <laughs> let's take care of my other needs first. Let's go sleep for a bit. Why is there no counter here? Is that supposed to be like that? And there's like a hole with a bin in the middle. What? Hey Vlad, what's up? Kayla Fleming asked me to go out on a date. Yeah, go for it, man. <laughs> what, you bite me one time and suddenly we're best friends. I mean, I did take photos of you, so I guess that's fair enough. Oh, only four hours left of my vacation. I think I can extend it though, right? Yeah. Oh, I don't have enough money to extend it. Hang on, if I sell some of this junk, let me sell these berries. And they, oh yes, the earbuds. <laughs> Right, I think I should be able to extend for one day. Right. Yes, we're spending money, but you gotta spend money to make money, guys. Oh yeah, I actually don't know if I should be eating. Like he's hungry, but I don't actually know if I should eat yet. It's kind of like, yeah, it kind of made him sick. <laughs> Sorry, dude. But at the moment we kind of half have to eat, kind of half not, so it's a bit weird. Now I think there's an archeology span table in town, maybe. Yes, here we go. So if we go here, uncover artifact and just work through our little things. And then I think, do we send, I think, yeah, we have to send these off to be authenticated. I think is what we have to do. See, doing this back at home would be really good on our tiny home. Oh, actually we have to be at home anyway. We can't send them from here, interestingly. All right, level three. Wait, I can authenticate them now? Oh, okay. So why would I want to send it away rather than just do it myself? Okay, I don't have time for talking to people right now. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Guys, can I have some personal space, please? Like, you got all this room. Do you have to stand this close behind me? Like, what is that? And if you're talking to me, maybe stand on this side. <laughs> Why do I stand so close? Guys, really? Is this, is this what we're gonna do? All right, let's authenticate this artifact. Okay, leave me alone, please, everybody. Really? All three of you just gonna hang out right there. Like I am dealing with like ancient artifacts. Like if, if you bump me and I break this, that ain't good. Hey, 238, not too shabby. So these ones, if I say authenticate, does it? Yeah, we have to use this table. I need to buy one of these for sure. You know what? It might be better to, hang on, put in my inventory. Let's have, what's my needs like? Pretty good. Let's go get some more. Then I think we're actually gonna travel back home, like away from Salvadorado and do this back at home because we'll get our skill up so much quicker. So it seems like a waste to do it here. Oh yes, excavate. Actually, is there an archeology span aspiration? I didn't actually check that, I probably should have. Yeah, we should probably be doing this because then we'll get some points. Oh yes, transforming into a vampire, let's go. Yeah, sweet. Oh yeah, let me go. All right, so that should actually take care of some of the needs quite nicely to be honest. So, oh, I got four power points already. Now where is the bat? Cause that's what I, that's the only reason I'm a vampire to be honest. Bat form, oh, well there you go. Now also the day walker, where's that? Cause I need to be able to walk in the sun. Sun resistance up over there. So I gotta go like this way, all right. Anyway, now always move his bat. There you go. That'll make life a lot easier. Except during the daytime when we burn. <laughs> so here, for example, if I say excavate now, instead of running all the way there, we just go poof. Sweet, look at that. So much better. Oh, archeology's fun guys, in case you're wondering. Uh, what? Okay, so in this world, 
you travel through those gates to get to the other portions but as a vampire we can just fly over here now so it honestly would help if it wasn't so pitch black i, I can't see is actually more of the problem <laughs> ah here we go so if i just go here now we should just be able to fly over there yeah don't have to worry about those gates archaeology level four wait what is that i can now survey yes that's good so now i just go here and i say survey and it should just spawn another one. Ah, okay well i didn't actually find one that time but if I go here, maybe I might be able to find one. So I go, oh, you know what? I have to be on, <laughs> not concrete. Okay, it's been a while since I've done this. Ow, oh, guys, I'm a vampire, don't attack me. All right, keep excavating there. Surely there's more around here. Now there's the other place that's further up. Is it this place? Yeah, there's this little section too. There's so many little areas um, that we can explore. I think normally you can't get up here unless you're a higher skill or something, right? Although I don't actually seem to be able to get up here. So maybe I can't. Oh, there's a book. There's a one right here, but I can't get there. Clear path with machete. Maybe that was a different, might be a different, is that a different? No, it can't be a different lot. I don't know why I can't get up there. It's just rude to be honest. Oh, okay. It is, it is actually a different area. <laughs> I was like, I'm pretty sure you can go there, but I think that was just, we could see it, but couldn't go there. Yeah, so this is what we just saw, but we couldn't actually get over here, which is slightly annoying. Anyway, yeah, then these ones you have to like sort of level up or something, I think, to get through, but whatever. All right, where are you? There you are, buddy. We'll see if we, let's see if we can like survey here for a dig pile. Really? Right over here. Really? Okay, I thought this is a lot more super powered than, uh, than I thought it was. Yeah, I'm not finding any. Okay, let's go back down. Wait, oh, I just had to like unlock it. Now I can fly up here. So it is in the same area, but it's like kind of not. I guess because I was loaded onto the um, this lot down here, not the bath lot. Like that is in the neighborhood, but different. And I'm getting stung by bees, but let's not worry about that. All right, um, now this one also goes to another section, doesn't it? Like somewhere else. Oh, did I lose my machete? I think I did. Oh, I'm also burning in the sun, which is a slight problem. Okay, yeah. I, oh, yeah, okay. I gotta get, uh, oh, there's a treasure chest. Okay, wait, where am I now? Oh, I'm over here. Okay, we gotta go. <laughs> Yeah, I am a vampire. I will burn to death. This this challenge could be over real quick if I'm not careful. <laughs> All right, get inside, dude. There you go. Wait, why'd you get up again? Sleep, dude. <sighs> I might need to do some. I might need to do some vampiric duels just to level up. <laughs> Being a vampire. Okay, right, let's end the vacation. I think we did pretty well. I think we got a good selection of stuff. And now, if we do archaeology back home, we should get the skill up as well. Um, it is sunny out here, and yeah, I definitely will burn on it. So, well, step one. Let's sell that that we did uncover and that don't think that's actually enough money for the table i think that should be enough money for the table oh it's 390 all right mm. that's just a relic i'll just sell that yeah there we go i'm thinking that maybe vampire wasn't the best <laughs> choice but if i just put a roof over this we'll be fine right that's how it works like what if i just do this over the entire lot but now we're all undercover right actually i'll get rid of those tiles i don't need, need that so if i go here yeah that's fine. As long as we're under here, we're good. All right, let's authenticate artifacts. We're going to work on this. This should, our skill should go up a lot quicker here because we're in a tiny home too. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Just watching me on my, my lot with my roof. Hang on, let me put a roof up. There it is. This is what my house looks like. <laughs> you know, just cash. All right, we're going to work through all of these. <laughs> Welcome wagon, no thanks. Actually, I need a, I do need a drink. You. Oh, don't, why are we doing, why are we talking over here? Also, Marcus Flex, I'm going to talk about, I should have, I should have let those people uh, onto, like onto my lot. You know that? Those guys, let's go. Can we all chat here, please? Marcus, Marcus, please come over here. No, don't see me later. Come over here. Mark, I just can't talk to you over there, dude. Okay, good. <laughs> this is so stupid. All right, I'm gonna take some photos of you. It's not weird. It's just for my personal collection. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Wait, how are we such good friends with Mark? How did that happen? I took five photos of him. Oh, cause they're on a tiny home. I think that's also a benefit of tiny home. That's ridiculous. All right. Um, I'm going to need to drink your plasma. Uh, so I'm going to just ask permission because we're good friends. So he should hopefully just say yes. Wait, you said no? I'm sorry. What? We're like best friends, dude. That is rude. I'm just going to have to compel you. Hopefully it works. Ah, cool. No problems. Ooh, PowerPoint. What is with my vampire if I'm having this beanie on, by the way? <laughs> All right, back to authenticating. Level five, I can now analyze genuine artifacts, treasures and fossils and extract elements from metals and crystals. Ooh. Dang, I should have done the collector aspiration. So I get two things per collectible. So if, if I did the aspiration of, I think maybe it's nature, the curator, I think you get the bonus trait where when you dig from like a little stone or something, do we have any around here? There was some before I did see them, but yeah, when you get, dig out those little gems and stuff, you get two instead of one. So that would actually have been great. Ooh, look at this one. So now practice, I guess that just gets my skill up. 
Does it? I don't know. Anyway, let's just keep, uh, let's uncover some artifacts as well. Okay, Marcus, you can, you can go by the way. Do, you don't have to be here anymore. Like I'm kind of busy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you can leave Marcus. Bye bye. See you later, buddy. There we go. Ooh, milestone complete. All right, now we got to authenticate this, which is he already doing that? Oh yeah, he is. Question. I think we can sell these on a selling table, which is absolutely what we're going to do, by the way, because that is really how you get to a million simoleons. <laughs> that wasn't a question. That was a statement. But question is, how much is the selling table? 300 bucks? That's not so bad. So if I get rid of this junky one, and I think I have to authenticate all these. I'm going to get rid of this ancient bone dust too. I think you can do something with that, but whatever. Hey. Level six. We can now find even more artifacts from dig piles by establishing an excavation site. Ooh. Fantastic. So that one's done too. So I'm going to sell that. And now we get a selling table. That's not what it's called. Okay, never mind. Uh, what's it called? Craft sales table. Oh, silly me. Does this go here? It does. Stock table. Hang on. Yes. Tend table. Mark our price is 300%. Start a yard sale. Alrighty, guys. Come get my excellent quartz skull. This is, I mean, this, these tables are the way to a million. Look at that, 1800 bucks. Thanks, guys. <laughs> All right, now, any vampires around? Because I actually do need to do some vampire stuff, ideally. Let's go visit um, the Vitors. Look, not directly uh, archaeology related thing, but this whole vampire detour we're on is, is important. Vampiric entrance. Oh, they have garlic. Wait, these guys aren't vampires. I went to the wrong household. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Hang on. Sorry. <laughs> wrong household. I think I need to actually go over here to the non-vampire. I mean, to the vampires. Hello? No one lives... Wait, where the heck do the Vitors live? Oh, over here. The other house. Okay. Jeez. There's like three houses and I picked two in a row that weren't where the Vitors live. Look, I don't go to this neighborhood very often, okay? Now, can I just knock on your door and say hello? Uh, also, do you guys mind if I have a shower? I feel like you will, but like also, please don't mind. Hey. Now, I actually want to... Uh, just do, oh. Oh wait, I think we have to hate each other, don't we? Oh no, Vampiric Spa, that's what we want to do. Although I think the fighting is actually better, isn't it? Anyway, let's do a spa. Now do I have to win to get the points here? <laughs> Hang on, let me try, let me try the other one. I'm gonna try being mean and try fighting. Oh, we're getting into a fight already? Vampiric Duel, yeah, here we go. I didn't even select that, that just kind of happened. I think this gets us more. Oh yeah, look, do you see how, okay, yeah. It's, it's a vampiric duel, that's what you want. Even if you lose, it's still good. All right, let's do that again. Look at that, level, t level two, level two, boom. Yeah, and you know what, we'll, we'll be, we'll have some uncontrollable hissing, let's do that. All right, uh, Lilith, we're gonna do this a few more times, if that's cool. As if this isn't fun. As if it being a vampire isn't fun. <laughs> sure, we did the duel and she's gone straight into push-ups. Okay, it is definitely only if you win, I think you get the points, which, cause I, when I don't win, I'm not getting anything. Okay, all right, four power points. We're gonna go into strength. This makes us stronger, you know? That's pretty good. Oh no, it's getting daytime. I need to level up so I can get the, the daytime thing so I don't have to worry about it. Lilith, get back out here. <laughs> I'm gonna level up a little bit more. Oh, did I lose that? Dang it. Man, I'm gonna be stronger. All right, now, do you mind if I use your shower? Probably, but I'm gonna take it anyway. Thanks. Snooze, you lose. <laughs> there we go. Hey, if you, if you think it's so inappropriate, why don't you fight me? <laughs> <laughs> Want a duel? Okay, I am burning in the sun and I have very low energy. Okay, this is a bad idea. Let's go home. <laughs> I'm gonna burn to death. No, 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 stop, stop, fuck. Okay. okay, get out of the sun. Thank you. All right, let's do a dark meditation. Just get my, my energy back up. All right. All right, I'm gonna work through all of these, authenticate them, sell them, etc. <laughs> what is this? It doesn't matter. It's going on the selling table. We're selling it all. All right, so we've got a few things. Let's go ahead and, and uh, stock the table. We're going to tend the table. We're going to start a yard sale. You know, all the good stuff. Some of them are worth a decent amount, like 242. That's not. That's 38 bucks. That's 157. Look, it's not so bad. All right, one last thing to sell. There you go. Thanks, guys. All right, so that's pretty good. We got 4,600 bucks, which means we can go to the jungle for a good amount of time, to be honest. So I'm going to take my selling table. I'm going to take my archaeology table. Uh... I don't know, it would be good to, to get the sun resistance before we go. Let's get a little tent. Are any of these better for sleeping than others or no? No, let's just get I'm just gonna sleep because I wanna get my vampire energy back up. I'm actually gonna invite, hey Marcus, I'm gonna come hang out. Oh, he's just over here. Hey man, um, do you mind if I just drink plasma real quick? I'm a little thirsty. Hey Vlad, casual friend time? Yeah, go for it, man. All right, thanks buddy. That's actually really good. All right, let's go back to the Vitors, which, okay, so do they live here? <laughs> Vitors, no one's home. Oh, what? what do you mean no one's home? Why aren't they home? I'm gonna go there anyway. Actually, you know what? Can I just call Lilith over here? I'd rather not come. Okay, fair enough. What about Caleb? Hey, Caleb. Ca <laughs> what? Well, where are you guys? If you're not home, yeah, I'll send you a text. <laughs> nah, they're home. I'm gonna go there anyway. They'll be, they'll be there. They'll be there. Yeah, look, there she is. <laughs> not home. 
Obviously she was home. Hey, I just need to train a little bit more. What? Excuse me, how did you beat me? That's rude. I will not stand for this and I will duel you again. There we go. And I'm just gonna keep going till we, we need to go up two levels. So I'll just keep doing it. There we are. So we need to get up to here. Oh wait, what? I guess, why did I think I had to? Okay, I can choose any of these. I kind of forgot that you don't have to go up the line. Well, I'm gonna be stronger for sure. And uh, we will have a withered stomach so we can't eat normal food anymore, which is fine because we don't anyway. All right, there we go. <laughs> it was literally just a few duels. All right, so now we need sun resistance. We need it three times. It's five each time, which actually I have enough. So there you go. Oh, Odalus would be good too. That's five points. I also need another weakness. Power game reduced while sleeping? Sure. All right, Lilith, I just need to fight you a little bit more. Sorry about that, but we, we can be friends after this. We'll be fine. All right, eight points. So now I don't need to have a shower. Let's just do that. And to be honest, while we're here, why don't we just keep leveling up? There you go, Grand Vampire. <laughs> because then we can get fun need not decaying and we can also get social need not decaying. So basically the only thing we need to worry about is thirst. So let's go fun and social. And relationships start off negative. Oh, I need two weaknesses? Oh man. And uh, one that's kind of not as annoying I'm trying to find, to be honest. Maybe the sleep thing. We'll just have to sleep longer. All right, so fun, hygiene, and social don't decay, only thirst. And that's all we need to worry about. Okie dokie, so let's go. I think I get my tent, because I still, I, like I said, we still need to sleep, unfortunately, just to get the vampiric energy up. I'm not sure if flying as a bat actually uses it. We might not need to, but we'll, we'll see, we'll see. I'm asleep a little bit right now though. All right, that'll do. Okay, so let's put in my inventory and let's uh, go to Selvadorada. Let's go. So now I guess I'll just choose one of these houses. They're more expensive. Oh, 590 a day. Like that's, that's a lot for a day. Like if I go for seven days, that's like, oh, you know, it's not, it, like it's nearly all the money I've got now, but We'll make that really quick, I think. So I'm giving myself seven days. Do you reckon we can get a million in seven days? Let's just go right here. Survey for a dig pile. Come on, did it work? Wait, where are you going? Oh, over here. Oh, we found it here. <laughs> All right, so now we can do an excavation site, which just sets it up like this. Then we go excavate, and we should just get a bunch of stuff. Level seven, can now refine crystals. Okay. Don't know if that's gonna be super useful. I mean, I guess it could potentially be. Finding a lot of relic things, which I don't really want. All right, we just found all of this from one thing. So that's pretty good. And um, we'll just work on the next one. And now I just do this for a while, to be honest. I guess until I get thirsty, then I'll just have to get someone, some sim to give me some, some energy. Okay, so I guess the benefit of sending them away is it would save me a lot of time if I just pay to have these all authenticated instead of doing it myself. So that might be worth it. <laughs> because it's going to take me a long time to do it all. I might need to go to town. There's no one walking around here. I need to drink some plasma. Hello? Maybe this vendor. Oh, it didn't work. <laughs> yeah, it's day during the daytime it doesn't work as well, unfortunately. Hey Vlad, what's up? Um, oh cool, you spent some time with him. All right. Okay, it's dark now? Yeah, there we go. That'll do. Now, what have you got, by the way? Machete. I think I'm good for machete. I got another one, yeah. All right, let's go back to the jungle and let's just survey for a pile. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, dang it. I did the wrong thing. I need to do an excavation site. There we go. And excavate. All right, let's actually do some... Let's go over here and get some more stuff. We'll make our way to the temple again. Anything up here? Not that I can see, but I guess we could go survey maybe. Oh, it doesn't seem to want to let me get over there unless I, I think I unlock it. Slightly annoying. I think it wants me to open this first. I, I thought we could just teleport around without having to do that. I guess I have to open it, then we can get over there. All right, we got all that stuff. Let's go to the next area. Oh, dang it, my machete broke again. Okay, I need to buy just a bunch of them because it keeps breaking. I'm doing it with his hands takes forever. Hey, level two gardening, sweet. All right, next, please. Here we go. All right. Got another pile done there. Getting a little thirsty, but let's see if we can get to the temple. I wonder if you can drink plasma from the skeletons. <laughs> oh, hey buddy. Skeleton? Chat with Tarsus. Skeleton? Can I drink your plasma? This sim has no plasma right now. Hey buddy, what's going on, man? <laughs> yeah, I'm just excavating, it's pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna need some privacy because I'm trying to excavate. Thanks, buddy. Okay, this is going pretty well. Uh, I do really need to have a drink though. There's a whole bunch more of these sites downstairs. I, I think they stay here whilst we're still on the Salvadorada. So I'm gonna go to town, get some plasma, and then hopefully just come back. Hey buddy. Oh, dang it. It works during the day. I mean like it, it does sometimes, but like, how about you? Wow. Maybe if we do it inside, I think we have a better chance. Hey, what's up? Yeah, there we go. That's the stuff. And I'll just take one more just to top off too. That'd be great. <laughs> Awesome, thanks guys. Yeah, okay, so just what I thought, it, it does keep these here. So let's go, 
I guess I'm gonna work through these three. This all just takes really long, so... Because you get so many things out of them, it takes ages, but I mean, we got a good haul. I think once all of these are authenticated, we're gonna have some good cash. Hey, Max Archaeology. Uh, I can now share it. Uh, practice analysis. Wait, what is that? Find high quality artifacts is greatly increased, which is good because we haven't gone through any of these yet. So once we start authenticating these, the chance that they're going to be excellent is even higher. All right, so I've collected all of this. I think I'm going to just start working through it, to be honest. Does this really not fit anywhere? I'd rather set the place. Place in world. Yeah. All right, I'm going to start working through these and I guess see what we get. Oh man, this is going to take ages, isn't it? <laughs> you know what? Maybe I should just send them off. Maybe we should go home and just send them because <laughs> this is going to take ages. That was one. But 662, not bad. All right, let, let me try. I'm going to try authenticating them all first, okay? All right, so I just spent like literally days in game <laughs> analyzing all of that stuff. So that's definitely not worth doing again. But I think what I might do, because we still have, well, I guess today and tomorrow on the vacation, so maybe what I'll keep doing is I'm going to keep going around and excavating as much stuff as I can find. So I'm going to survey for more piles and stuff. And I might even go into the temple. Um, really? There's none here? Well, actually, there's one right here. So let's go get that. Um, and we might go to the temple and maybe we'll try to get the treasures too. Because at the moment, even if we sell all this for the 300% markup, I don't even know if we're going to hit 100,000 yet. Like, I think we're still a ways off. So, yeah, looking like road to a million with this method, not great. Not great, but we're gonna we're gonna keep at it. I'm gonna keep excavating until the vacation's over. Like we find quite a lot of stuff pretty quick, but yeah, the amount of time it took to uh, <laughs> to authenticate not worth it. That's where those twenty five dollar shipments come in. All right, let's go get the uh, the temple treasures because I mean that's just gonna be worth a lot of money too. And also there should be some more piles downstairs. All right, let's examine all this stuff. See what we got. Okay, so it's obviously gonna be this one. This is the only one with a question mark. So let's just do that. Okay, as slow as you want. There you go. All right, now doesn't look like there's anything to excavate just yet. So let's, I guess, examine some stuff. Okay, so we got a few question marks. Let's just try this, see what happens. All right, not that one, I'm on fire. Uh, let's please not die. <laughs> Maybe the right warrior's arm. Okay, not that one either. All right, so one of these three, let's go the left. Nope. Okay, uh, let's try the middle. Uh, nope, okay. So I literally got every single one wrong. And right, there you go. <laughs> All right, so we got a treasure chest. Let's go get that. 600 bucks. And did I, wait, did I get some items in here? I got a, I got a few pieces of junk. <laughs> All right, let's try making an offering to one of these. Yay, that was it. Sweet. All right, let's go down a little bit further. All right, looks like we're in the last little section. Okay, let's study for some historic insights. I don't actually know that that does anything, to be honest. Uh, we'll just have to examine these things, see if we can get any information. Oh, wait, we just learned, okay. Don't bother with that one. We already learned the mechanism to open the gate. There we go. Alrighty, give me that sweet, sweet treasure, please. $2,000 and I'm gonna assume, yes, one of these puppies. That's gonna sell for 30 grand on our table. A market table that people love. All right. Was there any excavation sites down here? I don't think there was. I, I guess we got them all because they're all upstairs. Yeah, it doesn't appear to be. But whilst we ha still have time on the vacation, we're going to survey for a dig pile and let's get this one. Oh my gosh. I'm like completely singed. <laughs> there we are. Excavate. Let's get as much stuff as we can, please. All right, so vacation is over. Let's just cancel and end. I don't want to prolong this anymore. We're going to go home. We're going to try and sell all our stuff on the selling table. We're going to send off the stuff that we just got to be authenticated. And I wonder, well, let's pay the bills. We should also get some stuff in the mail. Yeah, so the Artifacts Association is sending over some artifacts uh, and re wants request in helping authenticate them. Now, I believe we authenticate them and then get to keep them. And they're usually worth a lot, if I'm not mistaken. So hopefully... That goes well. Now, the other thing we're gonna do is go through all the stuff I just found and send it off. Now, I do need to drink some plasma as well real quick. Uh, what, what do you mean see me later? No. <laughs> I just need some plasma, please. Oh man, okay. Hang on, respectful introduction. Hi, gonna come back to despise each other, what? Can we go chat here? Okay, good, she's coming over. I just need to be in the shade because that gives me more power. <laughs> Thanks for <laughs> thanks for following me. Oh, wait, you just resisted already. Okay, you can leave. I don't need you anymore. Oh, Marcus, old buddy. What the heck was that? Oh, atrocious reputation. Yeah, I don't care about that. All right, we just wait for Marcus to get over here. Here he is. Hey, buddy. I knew I could count on you. Okay, can you, can you do the drinking? There we go. That's better. Oh, I also really need to sleep. 
I'll just do some dark meditation in a minute. All right, I still got to uncover these potatoes. Ooh, I wonder if you've got an artifact already. Because you can't send off potatoes. You have to uncover them. Okay, Marcus, you can leave. Okay, now if I just leave that like it is, I can send it off. All right, there's a bit of energy back. Let's go get the mail actually see what we got. They verified the artifact is genuine. Okay, well, what was that? Whoa, okay, yeah, I think they just, I think we got back everything I sent off. Ooh, we got a good one. Sweet! All right, let's go keep uncovering some stuff. All right, so I've worked through all of that stuff, and now this is the one that we were mailed, which is actually not worth that much, but I'm going to send it back. I don't remember. If, oh, yeah, that gets us the money. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure we get some money somehow from it, and that's how. So we got another three grand there. Pretty good. Let's go ahead, and I guess we need to stock the table with all of this stuff. I guess it's just a process of uh, one by one putting them in the table. Now, I'm not going to bother with the stuff that's worth less, or like the counterfeit stuff, because that's just going to be a waste of time trying to sell it. So I'm just going to sell them and the, the relics and stuff. May as well. Let's just sell all that. All right. So that's what we got left. Uh, let's go ahead and tend the table. We'll stock it, then tend it. And uh, let's go ahead and start the yard. So we've got 8,000 simoleons. Let's get going. There we go. 2,500. Pretty good. 2,600. Now, now starts the process of selling all this stuff. When we sell that, that golden Amiskin plate, that's going to be good. I've traveled the globe and I've uncovered artifacts of an ancient era. Now, please buy them off my table underneath this floating roof. <laughs> These are priceless artifacts, which I have put a price on. <gasps> Ooh, it's on the table. Oh, 40 grand. Whoa. Okay. That's where the money is. <laughs> it's the treasures. The, uh, the artifacts, that's just where the time is. Ooh, mail. I wonder if we got some more stuff to uncover. Actually, while we got some people here, I do need a drink real quick. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, that's better. All right, go back to the table. Hmm, it's nice that they still want to buy stuff even when uh, <laughs> he's passed out in front of the table. Hey, man, you want to buy something now that you're awake? Hey, 100,000. Yeah, One tenth of the way there. <laughs> oh, Lord. Stuck the table again. There we go. We still have a lot of stuff to sell though. Like there's still a lot of stuff in here. I think some pretty valuable things still, which is good. Ooh, we're getting some more artifacts coming in, which is good. I guess that'll be, uh, I guess today's mail actually. So we'll be able to do those, get a bit more money. In the meantime, we've got uh, only two rows of items left now. Even selling these things has taken a while. While you're here, Simeon, let me just have a drink of that magical blood. I think it's actually quite good, to be honest. Hmm, thanks, buddy. All right, I think we also just got some mail, so I'm gonna go get that. We got this guy to authenticate, so let's go ahead and do that. Oh, hey, Simeon. <laughs> he doesn't have a chat. All righty, only 172, but let's send it back. $3,300, thanks, guys. 10 table, and we'll stock it up again, and let's go start a yard sale. Only a few items left to sell, then we'll uh, see where we're at. Okay, Simeon, can you stop talking to me, please? All right, all the items are on the table now. We've got nothing left. Let's just do the final yard sale. Hopefully we get to sell all three of these. Well, we're about 150,000, which is pretty good. If I don't waste all my time authenticating the artifacts myself, we might be able to get quite a lot just from archaeology. And also the Amiskin treasures. That's kind, of, that's kind of where the money's at. All right, that's it. We're all good. So let's get rid of that. Um, I'm pretty tired, so I'm gonna do a quick dark meditation. There we are. Is anyone around town still? Actually, yeah, there are, there's a few people. Hang on. All right, let's, uh, I guess let's go on a vacation. Maybe what I should do is just go for like a day so we can go to the temple, get the temple treasure. Maybe two days. I think one day might not be enough because we need to do a lot of excavating as well. And then we can come back and get more, you know? Well, we can do one and we can just extend. Let's go one day and see how far we get. Ugh, you know what? I need to go to town and get a machete. <laughs> it's so annoying. Okay, uh, are these gonna actually populate or? Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, no, I need the one with machetes. Okay, I guess coming out 1 a.m. wasn't a good idea. All right, forget it. <laughs> Let's just make our way through. And I'm sure there's some piles we can excavate. Yeah, there's one there, but I wanna get to the, the temple first and then make our way up to the temple. Ugh. Dang it, my machete broke. It breaks after like two tries. That's why it's like, that's why I just need to buy like a stockpile of them. Can I not just buy it as a gift for my phone? Machete, please. No. Okie dokie. Definitely got a different temple here today, but that's no trouble. Oh, there's some stuff here too. We'll get it, we'll get it. Let's go examine all this stuff, see what we need to do. Okay, we're not quite sure on that one. Let's check this one. Mm, we're not quite sure either. Let's try the left on this one. Nope. All right. Try the right. Did I just get cursed? Is that what just happened? Sand by sloth. Hmm. Okay, so it's not that one. This one? Nope. All right. I, does it purposely choose the ones that, like, I, I swear it's choosing the ones that I don't choose. You know, like, I choose it and it's like, no, no, let's change it. <laughs> all right, another site down there, which is fantastic. We'll do all the excavating in just a moment once we've made our way through. Okay, surely it's this one, unless there's something else. Nope, just that one. All good. Ooh, another excavation site. Ooh, look at all these bones. Sweet, sweet bone piles. <laughs> okay, we're not sure. Let's try this one. Nope. Let's try the next one. 
Nope. All right. Try this one. Hey, there we go. Ooh, a little collection thing. You know what? I will grab that. Thanks, buddy. All right, let me just do all these. Hey, there we go. Made it through to the next bit. And ah, this is the bit with the treasure. Fantastic. Oh, look, we got three chests. All right, let's go through all those. Oh, okay. Yeah, so now I did get a curse on me. Where do the curses go? The Mexican gods put a curse on me, but I'm not even sure. Is it just a moodlet or something I get? I can't remember where it appears. <laughs> Apparently I got a curse for opening that, but I think we're good. We got a golden frog, pretty good. Let's go check this one and a few other little things too. Ooh, a machete. <laughs> Okie dokie, now I'm gonna go back through and do all the excavation. Okay, I need more time. I haven't finished excavating, so we're gonna extend for one day. We'll try it one more day. Just working my way through all these sites in the temple. Oh, it's rebate day and the temple was just decorated for it. That's beautiful. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> it was decorated for a second. All right, so I'm gonna end the vacation here because I think we did a good job. Uh, I was just back in the town to get some more deep drinking in so we have our thirst up. And we're gonna send all those things off, all of these to be verified for us because it takes a long time for me to do it. So we'll just get all those going, give him a second. Come on, buddy. There we go. I love how the animation is just a hand grabbing for some reason. Oh, notable newcomer. Yeah, I'm famous just by doing this. <laughs> Now I'm going to sell the relic stuff because we're not using those. Sell the bone dust and the fossils and all that stuff. Extract element. Actually, I want it. So 186. So if I extract the element, how much do I get for that? Ah, oh, sweet. And we're going to sell this frog too, by the way. So I'll chuck it at the table. Got 15. Oh, 15 bucks. This is still worth money though. Send to jewel. I'll send to geo council. Extract element. Ref what if I refine the crystal? Maybe that's what I was supposed to do. I don't want the dang element. Get out of here. Because <laughs> you get the crystal and you put it on the relics. I remember doing that. So is that actually worth anything? 250 is worth more. You know what? I'll put it on the table. Let's stock the table and sell these two things. Anyone want a golden frog for... I guess it's going to be like $32,000 with the markup. <laughs> yep, okay. Judith Ward wanted it. <laughs> there it goes. Right, someone buy my little crystal, please. There you go. A thousand bucks. That was worth it. All right, let's go. I just got to get the potatoes out myself. So I'll do that whilst we wait for our other ones to be verified in the mailbox. Actually, I've also got bills I need to pay. I suppose I don't need the roof anymore, do I? Because <laughs> I only had that because he was burning in the sun, but he doesn't burn in the sun anymore. Oh, I completed the collection. Sweet. <laughs> Not really the goal here, but that's pretty cool. Let's have a look. Hey, look at all this. We got everything. Well, we sold most of it, but we got most of the stuff. Haven't got all the treasures yet though. Ooh, mail. That could be all my artifacts. I'm gonna get that. Okay, just pause. Come on. What we got? Ooh, this looks good. It looks like we got some good ones in here. Look at all those skulls. All right, I'll finish authenticating these. I also got a counterfeit one, which I'm just gonna sell here. Um, and then we also got another one from the council to verify. So we'll get a few grand easily off that one too, which is nice. And I got this like, what's old as new again plaque, which it's worth zero. Oh, I'm gonna sell it anyway. I don't want it. I gotta say, look, this is a good way to make money, but it is definitely time consuming. The amount of time it takes on the archeology span table to like actually get through all the verification stuff. It takes a long time. <laughs> Even uh, like with the, the potato clumps and stuff. It takes a while. That was a good one though. Definitely not quick. I think we're already on our third week. So, or fourth maybe. I'm not even sure now. Yeah, because then we got to stock the table, tend it, and then also um, sell it all. That's the, that's the next thing. It's like, yeah, we've done all that. We could sell it immediately, but then you only get a quarter of the price, you know. We can get four times more by just doing it this way, you know? All right, there we go. We sold everything from that trip. Not too shabby. Oh, did wait, did I authenticate that thing and then not send it back? Oops, I think I sold it. <laughs> oh well. Um, so we got about a hundred grand from that trip, which is good because that was a two day trip uh, rather than the seven day trip we did before. So that's pretty good. I think if we go for at least another two days, we can probably, oh, we're going to get somewhere. We're going to, Gonna keep trying this. As usual, I'm gonna make my way to the temple. We'll go from there. Alrighty, here we are. Got a few, we got a pile up the top there. Is there one on this level? Not that I can see. Not much on this level either, but that's okay, you know. We're mostly here to get the uh, the, the treasure. Oh wait, why did I click try to pass? No, 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 no. Okay, good. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I could just fly through there as a bat, but it doesn't like unlock it unless you do the actual steps. So, you know. Ooh, look at all these. Oh, that's gonna take a good good chunk of time down there. Well, I'll go find the treasure and I'll come back. Hey, alrighty, let's get that sweet, sweet treasure. Got another frog, some more machetes. Let's open this one as well. Some relic based thing. 
All right. Now, I guess I'm gonna go through all the <laughs> excavation sites, which takes a long time as well. Like I said, this is time consuming stuff, but you do get good money from it. Okay, I think I got all of the excavation sites here in the temple. And I think my vacation's nearly over, which is actually handy. So I'm gonna see if I can head to the town quickly to replenish the thirst. Ah, yeah, there we are, that's better. And then we just do a little dark meditation to get my energy back up. Oh, wait, I have a whole other day. All right, well, uh, find a dig pile. <laughs> Keep going. Oh yeah, only four hours left. Okay, so that's good. I'm, I'm doing a little bit more digging before we head back in as much as we can. No, 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 no talking. It's taking as long, <laughs> taking long as it is. I just need to get the excavation going. Squeeze in a little bit more because it's going to end any second now. There it is. All right, going to end the vacation. Send all the stuff off again. Hopefully we get it in before the cutoff so we get all the stuff back really quick. Maybe another hundred grand or more would be good. Whoa, man, how long was I gone? <laughs> All right, that's all sent off. Now I'm going to work through all these potatoes. Oh, we've got the mail. That should be all our brand new stuff. Let's go get it. Oh, yeah. Got some good ones in here too. All right, well, I'm going to keep working through the potatoes. All right, so we've just worked through all of that. This was the one I think the council sent me. Let's see, yeah, mail back. There you go, three grand, beautiful. Uh, and now I'm going to put all this on the table. Rinse and repeat, baby. All righty, let's go stock the table. We're going to start a yard sale because I really need a drink. And an easy way to get people here is by starting a yard sale. All right, come buy my snow covered ancient artifacts. And whilst you're here, it's going to borrow your neck for a minute if that's cool. Thanks, buddy. Ooh, waiting for someone to buy my little frog, which is completely covered in um, snow, but that's going to be worth a lot. Hey, 35,000 for the little frog. Look, I think at this point, maybe I should just keep going back and doing, <laughs> doing the treasure runs because the archaeology thing is, is, uh, is that a counterfeit? Why is that in here? Oh, well. Yeah, the archaeology is taking me hours. I honestly thought this was going to be a quick video. No, 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 no. It's been many, many hours. <laughs> All right, there we go. So we sold all that stuff. We're at 374. Pretty good. Let's go back again. I'm going to try just doing the temples and not excavating. So let's see what happens. All righty, we're in, <laughs> in the treasure room again. Here we go. Very nice. Get this one as well. All right, well, that's the vacation done. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not going to excavate. Uh, let's go home. And I guess I'll just go again. <laughs> Oh dear, even this is tedious, but it's going to be quicker, I think. It's not really archaeology anymore, but you know. Oh, that was that temple complete. <laughs> I didn't even realize that was the end of the temple. So we got a little frog there. Uh, no other chests. Okay, that's that. No, Marcus, I don't want to talk to you right now. No, I don't want to extend my vacation. I want to go home. I want to end it. And let's just keep repeating. <laughs> I'll, I'm going to do this a few times and I'll see you when I'm done. All right, I did it. Oh, finally done it four times. That took forever though. <laughs> Okay, well, let's sell these. I don't know how much closer it's going to get us, but, you know, it's going to be a little closer. I also may need to get some medicine because I think I'm very sick from all the curses. I don't know if this even works, but try it. Liberal use of medication when he's not sick cause co some side effects. Okay, so I'm definitely cursed with something, but that's fine. Let's just sell these things. All right, let's sell these ta these plates and these frogs. 36,000. Come on, guys, you know you want them. 32,000. Look, it's good, but it's not good enough. 36,000. So it'll be about halfway. <laughs> All right, there's that. All right. Um, <laughs> look how many people I know slash also hate me. That's kind of impressive, to be honest. <laughs> okay, it's been it's been like four hours, by the way. So I think I, I don't want to I don't want to keep going to Salvadorada and <laughs> resetting the temple. Where's Vlad? Let's just marry him. He'll give me some money. No, actually, we don't even need to marry. Just oh, he's sleeping. Ugh. He doesn't even need it. We don't even need to get married. He just needs to move in and sell all his possessions, and that'll be great. <laughs> Like I said, there's no rules except for self-imposed ones, and I'm kind of over it. He's not sleeping. He lied to me, by the way. <laughs> hey, Vlad, don't, don't mind me. I'm just kind of cursed and sick, and um, yeah. Isn't this nice? It's back where it all began with Vlad. Ask to join household. Here we go. Hey, buddy. Oh, also, he's burning outside in the sun. So I'm going to need you to join me and sell your lot. Yeah, there you go. 348. Pretty good. Thanks, buddy. Um, you're probably going to die, so you can go home. Who else has a big house? I'm trying to even think where big houses are. I guess these are big, but I mean, they're celebrities, so that's really hard. So let's not worry about that. It's the land grabs. That's probably, that's going to be worth some good money. 
This is really unraveled at the end. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, but it's taking me so long. And uh, at this point, we're not even doing archaeology and it's still taking a long time to get all the treasures. So let's just uh, resort to the old friendship. Whoa, you're old. Yeah, that's how long this challenge has been, by the way. I th I, don't, I think um, Nancy's dead, to, to be honest. I don't think she's alive anymore because <laughs> she wasn't on the household list. All right, let's become friends with Jeffrey so we can get the family fortune. Jeffrey, can you get up? I'm trying to take a photo of you. I just want to be friends. All right, we're good friends. Let's see. Will you move in? Yes. Would you like to join my household? So you, yeah, see, look, Nancy doesn't exist anymore. All right, sell all your lot. There we are. Yay! Yay! Oh my God. All right, what's the damage? 23 days and we were only at like 340,000 doing actual archaeology, like excavating and, and doing all that. Like, and that was also selling with 300% markup. So that is not quick. Whoever was recommending to do archaeology, not a good one. Really not a good one. <laughs> it took so long and I gave up. But if you have any other suggestions on other ways that we can earn a million simoleons, let me know in the comments down below. I'll give it a good go. But look, if we get to the four hour mark in one recording, that's when we're going to skip to the end because at that point, it's clearly not very quick. <laughs> but I still hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time and have an awesome day.